Hey everybody, AZ Plant Reviews, back again for the fall. A while ago I reviewed normal bougainvilleas, but I haven't talked about torch glow bougainvilleas yet. That is this guy right here, along with this one behind it. So the torch glow bougainvillea is a compact variety of bougainvilleas. They got some drawbacks and they got some benefits. First of all, benefit, they make way less mess. They like barely shed anything. That's probably like its whole shedding for the whole summer pretty nice compared to a bougainvillea that sheds leaves and flowers like constantly as it blooms and goes. So big benefit there. These flower clusters are really pretty too. Makes a nice aesthetic. They're smaller um, so you can't really use it like these bougainvilleas as like in a hedge but it can be an accent in front of a hedge like this exact scenario right here. This is actually a perfect place to put one because again this is a Eh, they can get bigger than this, but this is a pretty reasonable size for one. Um, also, problem, they grow a lot slower. So, you know, if you're looking for the fast, rapid growth of a normal bougainvillea, you're not going to get that with a torch glow. So, a little unfortunate there. Um, they're also much more vulnerable to, like, frost. So, they're going to lose all of their leaves in the winter, like, no matter what. Where it's kind of like a 50-50 shot with normal bougainvilleas. So, kind of annoying. They can also, you know, die of it. And <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. Whereas a bougainvillea will usually come back just fine afterwards. Um, another problem is their leaves get very discolored both from sunburn and from frost and it can take a long time for them to come back. Like these guys weren't really looking this good until like the past month or so. Which leads to another good thing is this was a horrible summer. Torch Glow Bougainvilleas not only did just fine but thrived. Like look how good they're doing. Look how good that looks. So, you know, it's got its ups and downs. I, uh can't say I'm too passionate about them, but I like them as good accents. They're not native, so slight drawback there too. Um, they need a good amount of water, but less than normal bougainvilleas. Sometimes the same, but they are more sensitive to irregularities in the watering than normal bougainvilleas are. So keep that in mind. I think I'll give it like, I'll give it a seven out of 10. Yeah, all right. Let me know what you want me to review next time. See you later.